Good morning, Rayfield. Well, guess what? It is March 1st. Marching to Perfection is our theme, and it is the month of March. Now, I can barely believe that that beautiful, fabulous February is over. We had such a great time with our self-love and our self-care and all of the phenomenal people that we talked about last month and we learned about that we're gonna continue those series of lessons in reference to famous people of different nationalities and of different ethnicities. I can't let it go. I talked to the staff and everybody is in agreement that we need to learn more about more people not just Afro-Americans, this whole wide world has people who have contributed in every way, shape, and form. And we're gonna continue learning about those folks. We want to give you as many positive examples of good character, of good morals, of good values that we can. So remember, we're going to continue our lessons about famous Americans and famous people who are from everywhere. We're just gonna continue. We are not gonna let that go. So as you can see, I have feathers everywhere. I'm marching to perfection is our theme. Marching to perfection at Rayfield is our theme. We're gonna continue our self-care and self-love, but we're gonna change it around a little bit. In March, we talk about nutrition. We talk about well-being. We talk about moving forward with our health, with our minds, with all of our being. We talk about improving ourselves mentally, physically, and socially. And as you know, many of us have that social goal. I have it too. I am not a social butterfly. I should do more social things. So we're going to talk about how to be a better person socially. So this month, the first series of lessons we're going to talk about is a little book that I found called Self-Control. Boy, is self-control important in terms of socialization skills. And then we're also going to continue our series on self-care, managing stress, reducing anxiety and increasing our well-being. That's our goal for this month, increasing well-being. I'm gonna tuck this feather in so it can stop tickling me, the feather start tickling me. Okay, so let's talk for a minute about socialization. Well, self-care can be defined as nurturing one's self even as it relates to other people. It involves of taking care of existing relationships and friendships with others and with those you are connected with. It also includes staying healthy. Self-care is important because it fosters belonging. What an important word. And connectiveness. Belonging is that human need that we all have to participate in group activities and to be a part of a family, friends, uh, social activities, coworkers, all of those different groups that you wanna belong to. It's a big part of ourselves. It's a part that we want ownership. We want to belong to people we care about right it's charity and remember that charity means love we find that social connections are good for the mental health of everybody so in order for us to improve our social skills we have to do a better job of belonging and connecting to others okay so we want to connect to others through our friendships, through our families, with our hobbies, through our group activities, 
We want to increase chances to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy and we want to increase the opportunities to be happy, healthy, and well adjusted. So you gotta think about, what do I want from my social life? Well, it's important to start by improving yourself if you want a better social life. And as I stated last month, we talked a lot about self-care. It is important to start improving, improving your social self-care to create a vision for yourself. What I mean by vision is when you look in the mirror, what do you want to see, right? So you have to be that type of person, that type of social person. Think about what type of person you want to be socially, okay? Once you have those thoughts in your mind, I want you to begin talking positively to yourself in that direction. What type of person do I want to be socially? Okay, I want to be a nice person. I want to be a happy person. I want, when I walk into a room, I want people to say, hi, how are you today? It's so great to see you. You don't want to walk into a room and everybody stops talking because you're going to think, oh my goodness, they were talking about me because they stopped talking when I walked into the room. No, you don't want that. What you want when you walk into a room is for everybody to say hi and welcome, right? That was a sidebar. That's what you really want, okay? So your social self-care vision, you should, it should make you feel excited, okay? I want you to create this vision. I want you to think about yourself. I want you to ask yourself, why is it important for me to be social? positive social. Why is that important? What do I gain from social self-care? I want you to identify personal reasons why it's important and why it's an, a priority for you to have social positive self-care. Okay? And then once you make that commitment once you understand why it is important to have positive social self-care, I want you to make a commitment to getting it done. Now, you know how I am about to do it. So you gotta think about, what do I want from my social life? Well, it's important to start by improving yourself if you want a better social life. As I stated last month, we talked a lot about self-care. It is important to start improving, improving your social self-care to create a vision for yourself. What I mean by vision is when you look in the mirror, what do you want to see, right? So you have to be that type of person, that type of social person. Think about what type of person you want to be socially, okay? Once you have those thoughts in your mind, I want you to begin talking positively to yourself in that direction. What type of person do I want to be socially, okay? I want to be a nice person. I want to be a happy person. I want, when I walk into a room, I want people to say, hi, how are you today? It's so great to see you. You don't wanna walk into a room and everybody stops talking because you're gonna think, oh my goodness, they were talking about me because they stopped talking when I walked into the room. No, you don't want that. What you want when you walk into a room is for everybody to say hi and welcome, right? That was a sidebar. That's what you really want, okay? So, your social self-care vision, you should, it should make you feel excited, okay? I want you to create this vision. I want you to think about yourself. I want you to ask yourself, why is it important for me to be social, positive social? Why is that important? What do I gain from social self-care. 
I want you to identify personal reasons why it's important and why it's in a, a priority for you to have social, positive self-care, okay? And then once you make that commitment, once you understand why it is important to have positive social self-care, I want you to make a commitment to getting it done. Now, you know how I am about to-do list. I can be all structured about to-do lists. I like to write things down. I like to check it off. I like to make sure I make it through the day and that I'm in control of the day and the day is not in control of me. So a to-do list is a way to get that done. So my social self, what does that look like? So throughout the rest of the week, we're going to talk about making a social self-care reality. What I wanna look like socially. So let me kind of break it down a little bit more. What kind of friend am I? Am I a good friend? Do I have a best friend? What kind of friend am I? Then what kind of girlfriend or boyfriend or romantic anything am I? Okay, number two. Number three, what kind of employee am I? When I come to the workshop, when I come to the peace room, am I contributing as a team member? Am I a good employee? What type of employee am I? Okay, what type of family member am I? If we have a family gathering and there's a birthday party, do I sing? Am I happy? Do I participate? Even though it's not my birthday, it's someone else's birthday. Am I a good contributing family member? Okay. If I'm an aunt, an uncle, or a cousin, am I a good aunt, uncle, or cousin? That's a part of the family. When was the last time you felt engaged? as a family member, as an employee, as a partner, as a best friend. What did that look like? How did that feel? Okay. Describe your ideal social life. When you get off from work at the workshop at Rayfield on say Thursday or Friday, do you go out to a movie with someone? Do you have some other type of social engagement that you do? Do you get together with a friend and watch a Netflix at your group home or at your family home, wherever it is that you go after school? And during school, what type of social commitments and co things are happening with you socially at school? Are they good experiences and positive experiences or? All right, guys, so I'm gonna stop talking so much for a Monday or I'm gonna give away the all of the lessons that I have about social self-care. So as I said, it's Monday, it's March. We're marching to perfection. We've come through February, gliding through. So we are so good on self-care and self-love. We're carrying all of those lessons into March with us. We have a good handle on self-care, taking care of ourselves physically. Now, this month, it's about our social well-being. It's about our mental health. It's about inside, it's about nutrition, it's about mental health, it's about being a good friend, a good family member, a good community member, a good church member, a good boyfriend, girlfriend type relationships, just relationships in general. The majority of us have. I can be all structured about to-do lists. I like to write things down. 
I like to check it off. I like to make sure I make it through the day and that I'm in control of the day and the day is not in control of me. So a to-do list is a way to get that done. So my social self, what does that look like? So throughout the rest of the week, we're going to talk about making a social self-care reality. What I want to look like socially. So let me kind of break it down a little bit more. What kind of friend am I? Am I a good friend? Do I have a best friend? What kind of friend am I? Then what kind of girlfriend or boyfriend or romantic anything am I? Okay, number two. Number three, what kind of employee am I? When I come to the workshop, when I come to the peace room, am I contributing as a team member? Am I a good employee? What type of employee am I? Okay, what type of family member am I? If we have a family gathering and there's a birthday party, do I sing? Am I happy? Do I participate? Even though it's not my birthday, it's someone else's birthday. Am I a good contributing family member? Okay. If I'm an aunt, an uncle, or a cousin, am I a good aunt, uncle, or cousin? That's a part of the family. When was the last time you felt engaged as a family member, as an employee, as a partner, as a best friend. What did that look like? How did that feel? Okay. Describe your ideal social life. When you get off from work at the workshop at Rayfield on say Thursday or Friday, do you go out to a movie with someone? Do you have some other type of social engagement that you do? Do you get together with a friend and watch a Netflix at your group home or at your family home, wherever it is that you go after school? And during school, what type of social commitments and co things are happening with you socially at school? Are they good experiences and positive experiences? Or, all right guys, the camera keeps shutting off on me. So that's a sign. I've given away all of the information for this month, just about. Have a great day. It's a magnificent Monday at Rayfield. We are Rayfield strong and we are marching to perfection. Let's have a You know, we have the kids that are at home, they can't come to school. So say hi to everybody at home. Hi. 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 Chris, say hi. Hi. Oh, Miss hey. Sheila. Hi. And they're giving out black eyed peas. Yes. All right, watch where you're going, watch where you're going. There's Steven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's Jimmy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one family. Four right. people. Four boxes. How you doing? Chocolate, white. Both. Both. <laughs> Chocolate milk is great. Yeah, the kids love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, Jimmy, give me. And they're giving out black eyed peas. Yes. All right. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're going. There's Steven. Mm -hmm. 
There's Jimmy. Uh, yeah, one family. Four right. people. Four boxes. How you doing? Chocolate, white. Both. Both. <laughs> Chocolate milk is great. Yeah, the kids love it. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, Jimmy, give me. Hi, Rico. Say hi to everybody at home. Hi. Hi. Chris, say hi. Hi, hi. Oh, Miss Sheila. Hi. 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 Two milk.